Hey everyone, it is Professor Lee here. So I've written out some um, dosage calculations problems. <clears throat> These are actually included in a worksheet that I have um, put into the learning objectives page for you as extra practice. And so uh, on this document, you'll see that I have highlighted the different um, terms in each problem. So we have the desired dose on hand quantity, and then um, some information that you'll need to figure out how much is going to be dispensed overall. So for this first problem, we have a doctor ordered amoxyl, um, and actually this should say capsules, so disregard that. Um, so the doctor ordered amoxyl capsules for Nicole on hand. We have 500 milligram capsules. She used to take 500 milligrams BID for 10 days. So the first thing we need to figure out is how much she's going to take for each dose. So we have 500 milligrams on hand, and she's ordered 500 milligrams. So we are going to take that, and it's capsule, so it's just one quantity. So 500 divided by 500 equals 1. 1 times 1 equals 1 capsule per dose. And we need to figure out how many capsules are going to be dispensed. So she's supposed to take this BID for 10 days. So as you should know from med term, BID equals 2 times a day. So to figure out how many she's going to, we're going to dispense, we're going to take two, let me make that smaller for you, two times a day times 10 days, right? This is going to give us 20 capsules that we need to dispense. All right, so moving on um, to the next one, we have the doctor has ordered Lasix 60 milligrams for Kelly to be taken QOD. On hand, we have 60 milligram tablets, so we want to know how many she needs for each dose. Well, luckily for us, these terms match. 60 milligrams, so no conversions needed. 60 milligrams, it's tablet, so it's going to be a one quantity. 60 divided by 60 times 1 is going to be, and you can do that on your calculator if you need to or whatever you got to do. Um, 60 divided by 60 times 1 is going to be one tablet. So per dose, she's going to take one tap, and then we need to figure out um, how many we're going to dispense. So four weeks times seven days a week is 28 days. But this is ordered every other day. QOD is every other day. So if she's taking it every other day, then we would take 28, divide that by 2, it's going to give us 14. So uh, dispense is going to be 14 tablets. Um, the next problem, the doctor orders Lomodal for Michelle. On hand, we have 5 milligram tablets. She used to take 5 milligrams initially starting tomorrow morning, and then she takes two and a half milligrams a day for the next four days. So we've got a couple of things we need to figure out here. First, we're going to have to figure out her initial dose. So I'm going to make this a little bigger. Initial dose. It's going to be this guy. All right, so initially uh, five milligrams tomorrow morning, and on hand we have 5 milligram tablets, okay? So we have ordered 5 milligrams. On hand we have 5 milligrams times 1 tablet. Then she has to take uh, 2.5 milligrams a day for the next 4 days. So that desired is going to be 2.5 milligrams on hand we still have just 5 milligrams per one tablet so you can grab your calculator and calculate these out but I can tell you that this is going to be one tablet this is going to be 0 0.5 or one half of a tablet 
So then these are this amount here is going to be her dose for the next four days after her initial dose of one tablet. Okay, so initially she is going to take one tablet and to figure out how many we're going to dispense you're going to need the one for the initial dose plus uh, 0 0.5 times 4 so 0 0.5 times 4 is going to give us 2 so 2 plus 1 is going to give us 3. So we would dispense 3 tablets total then. All right, um, moving on to the next question. Doctor orders uh, Gantanol suspension for Angela on hand. We have 375 milligrams per mil. She used to take 375 milligrams twice a day for 10 days. So we are going to figure out here 375 milligrams divided by 375 milligrams times now there's no quantity here listed no so we're going to know uh, assume that this is one mil so 375 divided by 375 is one one times one is one so each dosage is going to be one mil and we want to know how many to dispense she has to take this twice a day for 10 days so one mil times twice a day is going to give us two times 10 days is going to mean that we need to dispense 20 mil of this medication to cover her 10 day prescription. Uh, next up, we have a doctor that orders tagamet liquid for uh, Tara. On, on, on hand, we have 300 milligrams per mil. She used to take an initial dose of 300 milligrams tomorrow morning. So this is her initial dose. 300 divided by 300 is 1 times 1 equals 1. So her dose is going to be 1 mil initially. Then she used to take 240 milligrams each morning for 6 additional days. So then we need to do 240 milligrams divided by 300 milligrams times 1 mil. I think that ends up being 0.6. I'm going to grab my calculator on my phone. All right, we're back. Sorry, I had to um, pause. My dogs were barking. So 240 divided by 300, I thought it was 0.6, but after doing the calculations, it's actually 0 0.8 mil. So um, her initial dose is 1 mil, and then we have 0 0.8 mil that she is taking 6 days. So to figure out the total dispense, we're going to take the one for the initial dose plus whatever 0 0.8 mil times six is. So let me do that really quick. Times six. Oops. Equals 4.8 mils to cover those six days, um, plus that one is going to give us 5.8 mil. Um, so the last one on this page, doctor orders amoxyl suspension for Allison on hand. We have 40 milligrams per one mil. She used to take 40 milligrams three times a day for one day, or for one week, sorry. I can't read. It's early in the morning. Um, okay, so 40 divided by 40 is 1 times 1 is 1. So the each dose is going to be 1 mil. And she needs to take this three times a day for one week. So to figure out that, we need to do 3 times 7 because there's 7 days in a week. So it's, she's taking this three times a day for seven days is going to give us 21 and her dose is one mil so we need to dispense 21 mil 
All right, uh, moving on to the next couple of problems over here. Um, the doctor orders enteral for Debbie on hand. We have 160 milligram tablets. And she is to take 160 milligrams daily for three weeks. So 60, so this is going to work out to be one tablet per dose. And you need to figure out how many to dispense. Um, well, she's taking it daily, so just one time a day for three weeks. So there are seven days in a week times three weeks equals 21. Her dose is one tab, so 21 times one is one. So we are going to dispense 21 tablets. Uh, the doctor orders somycin suspension for Sherry on hand. We have 75 milligrams per mil. She used to take 75 milligrams three times a day for 14 days. So Seventy five milligrams times one mil ordered with seventy five milligrams, so we know that each dose is going to be one mil. Each day she has to take this one mil three times. So we're looking at T I D over here. So one times three. Is going to give us three mil per day and she has to do that for 14 days so if we do three mil per day times 14 days we are going to end up with whatever 14 times 3 is 28 let me say 14 times 3 is 42 is that right 14 times 3 42 so the total dispensed is going to be 42 mil. All right, so um, going down here, there's some of these syringe problems um, in the uh, extra practice also. So you're going to have to figure out the dosage, calculate the dosage first, and then um, figure out how many mils you're going to give and then mark it on the syringe. So this is the way that this goes. So we have compazine, 7 milligrams intramuscular for Kim. So ordered is seven milligrams on hand. We have five milligrams per one mil. So seven divided by five, I think is one. Seven divided by five is 1.4. Is that right? Seven, seven, seven. Yep, 1.4. So her dose is 1.4 milliliter. And to uh, here, you then mark on the syringe. So you can see that here is one. One and a half is going to be 1.5. And there are, uh, there are markings, calibrations on this syringe that represent one each. So here we have zero, this is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten is one. So to do 1.4, you are going to go up to here, which is the 1.4 mark. All right, um, the next one, this is just showing five units on an insulin syringe. So again, 100 units is the equivalent of one milliliter. And on the sur insulin syringes, all of the syringe barrels are calibrated by one unit. So each of these tiny little lines is the equivalent of one unit. So to mark five units here, if we know that this is 10, you can actually count down. But the first line here is going to be five. Now I got that a little sloppy, and it looks like that was six. So let me redo that. All right. Um, ten units, pretty easy. It's marked here as ten units. And fifty-two units. 
We're going to go all the way up here. So here's 50, 1, 52, right there. Let me get rid of that guy. So here's 50, 1, 2. This is super sloppy, but you get the point. All right. Um, on the next page, you've got some medication labels to work through. Um, so we'll do these three really quick, and then that'll be the end of this video, I think. So patients to receive 38 milligrams of Campstatar, um, Camptosar, sorry, uh, and from a vial that has this label on it. There. So... Uh, how many milliliters of solution should the MA administer? So if the patient is to receive 38 milligrams from the vial, so desired is going to be 38 milligrams. This is the vial we have on hand, which says that we have 20 milligrams per milliliter. Per 1 ml. So we are going to divide 38 by 20. Which is going to give us 1.9 milliliter. For the next problem here, we have a patient that is to receive um, 0 0.15 milligrams of osteotide, uh, or octreotide, I don't know how to say it, but this medicine, there. Um, and we have a vial with this label. So we know that the desired is, sorry about my Instagram, I put my do not disturb on and it still keeps coming up and I don't know how to make it go away on my iPad. So if anybody knows, I'll let your girl know. All right, so um, the 15 milligrams is what's ordered, zero point, no, sorry. 0.15 milligrams is what is desired. On hand, we have 0 0.05 milligrams per 1 ml. So to figure this out, we are going to divide 0.15 divided by 0 0.05 is going to give us 3 mil. Oh, sorry to cut that short, guys. My dogs are barking like crazy again. Uh, anyway, if you have any questions, you know where to find me. Otherwise, have a great week. Take care, everyone.